I um, have a couple of different things that I do. I am an adjunct professor. Right now I teach cultural geography, but I also occasionally teach physical geography and environmental science. I also do a lot of different projects with middle school students um, around STEM and mostly geared towards the environment. And I think that um, it's almost been my adult life experiences that have kind of shaped where I, what I'm doing. When I was in urban studies, I kind of learned about my place. I learned a little bit about urban, it was urban sociology really, and just the kind of structures and the things that kind of shape urban society. And I kept thinking that one way to kind of revitalize urban areas would be through the environment, because that's an issue that people can kind of mobilize around. You can, it's tangible, you can do something about it. Okay, so we're at Aspen Farms now. It's a community garden that's been here for the better part of 30 years, if not 40 years. And in general, they um, people get plots and they usually grow vegetables. And I believe that the Horticultural Society features this as a show garden. And if you kind of look around Mill Creek, you see that this is almost like a jewel in the midst of a lot of this decay. Like just in the distance, you can see um, that was at one time subsidized housing that has um, deteriorated and has kind of just been left vacant for at least a decade. Um, but just across the street here you have, you have flowers, you have things in bloom, and you have people working with the land. And I think that when people get connected with the land, they're connected with their place and then they, um, they have more of a um, capacity to act. I think that green space is important because it um, serves as a place for the wildlife to get nourishment. It serves as a place for people to lose themselves in the middle of the city on a beautiful day. It's a much better sight than a trash strewn lot. It keeps coming back to education, right? It keeps coming back to place-based education, um, trying to get communities and kids involved to kind of be almost like ambassadors of the environment, and especially stormwater, because I think that stormwater impacts everybody's everyday life. So I feel like stormwater is a great thing for people to kind of talk about. And that's like this, the, that's just like the entry into environmental science and STEM education, because then you can start talking about other things. Maybe pe somebody might be interested in air pollution or asthma or whatever else, kind of all these different environmental issues that kind of plague the urban areas. This new STEM of the future is like this anti-technology. So it's like we have technology that can kind of do lots of things, but if we kind of take it back to the basics and pay attention to how food is grown or how we clean up water and maybe some photo, um, what is it, phytoremediation or solar panel, all this kind of green, that kind of brings us back to really connecting with the land as opposed to just being in a lab. And this really is the new STEM because we're going to need food. We're going to need clean water, especially the way things are going. And why not? You're a, you're a student and you, you know basic photosynthesis, right? You, basic things that um, plants need and you're growing these things. Maybe you might even invent some better way to do some intensive gardening or anything like that. So I think that, I feel like this is the new STEM. I think this is where, we're, this is where we need to be heading. The first step in getting involved is with a cleanup day. Like, you know, every neighborhood has them. We have um, block cleanups, we have street cleanups, they have river cleanups, they have garden cleanups, empty lot cleanups, all over the place. No matter what city you're in, there's a cleanup. The problem with just only stopping at the cleanup is that this is one day, everybody comes out, cleans it up, next week, next month, next year, it's a mess again. So you have to go from, okay, I participate in this cleanup, how do I maintain that? take ownership of a place. So you say, you know what, I've cleaned up this river or this vacant lot, I'm gonna be a steward here. You know, maybe me and my buddies will go and tidy it up every weekend. Or we'll play here, or we'll plant some trees there, or we'll put a bench there, or something. It's little things you can do to kind of stake it out, to kind of tell somebody, tell everybody else that somebody cares about this place. And when people care about these places, then people won't tear them up. We are going to need people that are going to be able to get back to the basics, that are going to be able to reconnect people with the land in terms of food, water, air pollution, all these different things. And our new generation, you're the people to do it. Like We need you to step up and do what needs to be done in order for us to um, have a better future.